to the Adelaide Hills. It's great to see you here and uh, it's an amazing place and I can proudly say I'm a Mount Barker resident myself. That's that little place just over to the, um, to the top. Let me go. Thanks, Hi. Your husband That's great. Thank you. You can do better than you. Enjoy the day of the races. As you were. As you were. Yeah, we have to get rid of that one too. I think that's funny. But... Oh, well, I like. I expect Andy to come in naked in a minute. There's nothing more German than Scottish bagpipes. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Andy's actually part of working with old ski. Have a look at him. Oh, give him a round of applause. Now about our bagpipers. Jeez. Look at them just look at each other. Do we do another one? Do we do another one? Yeah, Andy's had a couple of shots. Want to see you dancing, Andy? Yeah, give him a round of applause. Thanks for coming along, guys. Oh, Andy, bless you. Now, give him a round of applause. Well done, Andy. He's a uh, man that he certainly puts his heart on the line for his Adelaide Hills in the area, so uh, good work, Hobbit. Thanks. Give me, give me, give him the microphone. And I've got to say, you know, we're working with Dolly uh, on the uh, episode here at Mount Barker and Hans Wolfman and Nan and Little Hampton and wherever we went. Absolute, absolute pleasure. To, uh, absolute pleasure to get along with. Film crew were great. Three man team, you know, came in, did, did the job, and, um, you know, seamless. You know, all, all we have to do is to help him to synchronise a few speakers and make it interesting. Pick the right ones, you know. His work is so much easier if we get people that are prepared to stand in front of a camera that's about here and feel comfortable, you know. I'd like to say thank you to Andrew, thank you to Tamara, and especially to you guys for coming to visit with us, to stay with us. I sincerely hope it's a great, wonderful, comfortable uh, shopping experience, from what I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Really quite diverse with the amount of shops and uh, supermarkets and, and uh, trades that we've got here in Mount Barker. So anyone that's travelling into our area, if they need anything um, from a phone charger through to major mechanical repairs, all can be done here in Mount Barker. What's an ecotourism business? 
uh, because it's not very often that we get a whole heap of uh, visitor information people in the same place. And so um, I think it's really important because you have an incredibly important role in terms of what you do in terms of referring people on to businesses uh, in, uh, in your community. someone and then they put their hand onto your heart. Tracy from Loxton, you're going to give us a uh, rundown on the Lobethal Beer House? No, she's not. <laughs> she's not. <laughs> Introduce you to Sharon Pippos. Sharon is the owner, proprietor, bottle washer, shoe polisher and walker of the Handorf Walking Tours. Sharon's been operating now for about two years, I reckon, Sharon. So, over to you. Okay, good morning everyone. It's lovely to be here. Sweet, Lynn, this product is wonderful, even though you didn't get me off this train. 
Mate, the cellar door phone shop, phone shop man. The cellar doors on the mind. This is uh, Chris Phil Scott. She's on the uh, management committee, the Adelaide Hills International Sculpture Symposium. We are really excited about it. The product's going really well, very well received. Well, I do believe that is a Volkswagen yeah, back there. Now, I think he, I think he's eyeing it up, and we know what a fan he is. He's going to tell us. There you go. No one wants a prize. He's coming for the prize. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to introduce you to the uh, the students from Inkpot Arts in Mount Barker, and they'd like to give you a warm welcome to Harndorf. So, uh, over to you, kids. Hey, guys, did you know we have some fantastic things here in Harndorf? Yay! <laughs> we have cheese shops, and snack sauce, and freshly baked pastries, breathwork, and bon bon, and rich German histories. The people are kind. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is getting to the point where we're almost at the end of our fantastic three days, and it's been an absolute pleasure being part of it. It's almost like I'm back in the tourism industry again. Who knows what could happen in the near future. Folks, it's time to have our conference summary, and uh, Andy's still dressed in his leather and You could have come straight out of the lower lot. Picture of the lady of the year. Um, if anyone's uh, well, uh, predictably unpredictable, it would have to be this bloke. <laughs> Seen gallivanting through the hills in Lederhosen one minute, then uh, hooting at the International Jazz Festival the next. He likes a beer, apparently. <laughs> Is that right, mate? Um, or two, or well, three. Today, now he's been in tourism. <laughs> And around the Victor visitor, sorry, he's been in tourism and around the visitor centre scene for the last 16 years. Of course, I'm talking about Andy Glenn. He assures me that um, he had a full head of hair prior to arranging this conference, but uh, that could be possibly slightly hoped on his behalf. Thankfully, uh, the one and only Andy Glenn, Tourism and Development Manager for the District Council of Mount Barker and your conference organiser for 2013 and he has to do this every couple of years so I'd just like to say thank you Andy, well done and thank you to everyone for being here. Well, thank you, uh, thank you Chris and we'll get to you in a minute. Um, clearly up here on the screen we've, we've got a lot of people that have been involved in making our conference run, making our conference work. It's the same every year. 
we owe them the dignity just to, uh, to have a uh, pay respect to the machine up there. District Council Mount Barker, major sponsor for this conference, along with the South Australian Tourism Commission. We really do appreciate the, the support that SATC puts into the annual conference, and, uh, and, and they are committed to that process. The Hundredfold Mill, what a great location to have a conference. Uh, Adelaide Hills Council um, came on board. They, uh, they understood the value in, in showing you guys both parts of our Adelaide Hills region. Um, Adelaide Hills Wine, for all the, uh, the wine that's in your bags, Cleveland Conservation Park, Wildlife Park, Adelaide Hills, um, Tourism Region itself, um, former marketing board come on board. You know, they, they love the fact that you guys are here. Sealing, I mentioned them the other day, look, great partnership between VICs and VIC conferences and Sealing. Um, they're keen to keep that relationship going. So uh, in, in the future, when it's your turn to organise a conference, take advantage of that. If you have trouble with them, let me know and I'll ring. Um, the, <laughs> the manor, the house, the house uh, studio apartments, the house cafe, um, bistro and bar, CFS ladies, weren't they wonderful? You know, the amount of effort they put into that. And they didn't charge a single cent for, for coming here to our conference. I want to get a message across. Book Easy Tourism Solutions, um, we were a Book Easy client. It wasn't a hard sell to get some money out of them. Hills Inc, Adelaide Hills Marketing, Adelaide Magazine Events, Weddings, blah, blah, blah. Um, all of their brand run, their fabulous uh, support of anything in the hills. The Government of South Australia through the Department of Environment um, and SATEC. And not to say anything about SATEC, but you know, Ward's a really keen supporter of all VICs and he's, he's very keen to, uh, to keep that relationship going too. We had some wonderful experience partners. Uh, Everything from the Summit Restaurant, Sinclair's Gully Wines, Howard's Vineyard, Hunter Walking, to all the Cedars, local beer house, Steam Ranger Railways, Laratinga Wetlands, Summer Lead Wine, Harris Smokehouse, Golf Brewery, and other, del other delights. Uh, tourism businesses, lots of them. Gorge Wildlife Park, Monado Zoo, Escape Gate Tours, Adelaide Sightseeing, Greyline, Handle Farm Barn, Fairyland Village, uh, Old Wall Mill Markets, and Lothal, Hoop Jazz Festival, Platform One, Melba's, uh, Chocolates, um, chocolate in your um, delegate bags is delicious, trust me. One got broken when we packed them. Um, the National <laughs> Local Museum, um, Oak Bank Racing Club, Sticky Rice Cooking School, Prancing Pony Brewery, Up and Direct Tavern Cinemas, Handel, uh, sorry, Adelaide Hills International Sculpture Symposium, and Beerenberg. Met most of them yesterday, but also along the way. Our presenters, the Tourism Commission, the Country Fire Service, uh, Book Easy, uh, sorry, not Book Easy, David Main, um, <laughs> Sean Delaney, uh, Juno, Mount Lofty Summit, um, Chris Carpenter uh, for his, uh, his talk on Hello, What Are We Say and Do Next, Learning Potential International, SA Tourism Industry Council, Sealing, Tom O'Toole, and Cosi Costello today. So thank you to all of our sponsors and supporters.